One of the awards we haven't given yet in this conference, but will this morning, is called the Falkowski Sagan Award, and it is the Union's Award for Environmental Activism. It's named for two outstanding local union leaders who later became staff reps for the union, worked in Ontario, Paul Falkowski and Homer Sagan. Some of you uh, know those gentlemen. They're both still alive. Uh, during the 1960s and 70s, first as local union activists and then later as staff representatives, they built environmentalism into the work of the union throughout northern Ontario in the uh, uranium mines, in the, in the other kinds of mines, in the nickel smelters, uh, throughout that part of the union. And we named this award for environmental activism in their honor. So the first of those awards goes to Local Union 480. The Falkowski Sagan Award is given to USW local unions for outstanding work in environmental protection. It is named in honor of two union members and staff representatives who together built environmental activism into the union's work in Ontario during the 1960s and 70s. This Falkowski Sagan Award for 2012 is presented to local union 480 District 3 at the Tech Cominco Lead Zinc Smelter in Trail, British Columbia. In 1990, after studies showing high blood lead levels in local children, the local union helped found the Trail Community Lead Task Force with representatives from the union, the company, local government, the school district, and local environmental groups. The task force embarked on a comprehensive program of education, case management, soil replacement, and dust control. Meanwhile, the local started a successful campaign to replace the aging smelter with new technology. Since 1990, the average blood lead in trail children has dropped by 54%. And accepting the award on behalf of the local union is Ron Corbeil, the uh, safety and health coordinator from District 3. Well, thank you very much. I just want to recognize uh, the, uh, the previous leadership at Local 480 who had the foresight to realize that the environment and the workplace have to coexist with the community. This is a uh, lead zinc smelter that's been on the Columbia River in Trail, BC for over 100 years. And it was 23 years ago, as Mike said, that the study launched the uh, union into action. And to this day, they uh, continue to fight for the community, to uh, lower emissions, and to improve the environment of uh, Trail British Columbia. So on uh, behalf of District 3 Director Steve Hunt, local union uh, president Doug Jones, and the entire membership of Local 480, thank you very much for this award. They're very deserving. Thank you. By the way, Local 480 has contributed a lot of leadership to the labor movement. Ken Giorgetti, who's currently the head of the Canadian Labor Congress, is the former president at Local 480. 